All right, so keep this in mind. Now, remember, when you come here, you should be taking notes, taking notes feverishly. I'm trying, I'm trying to pace it out. When should you follow up? There's an MIT study that is done. These are some very smart people, way smarter than me, that they study call times on when you should reach out to leads that are not expecting your call. And here they are. Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m., 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. This is Monday through Thursday. Now, if you're in a different market with a lot of retirees, then you could probably extend this to the Friday. Okay? But I'm in Atlanta, and these numbers work in Atlanta. So when I share this with people, uh, some people say, well, can I call at 12.30 to 1 o'clock? You can call, but there was a study done by these very smart people that said these are the best two call times. So if it were me, I would just adjust my schedule around these call times. I would just adjust my schedule. I wouldn't try to, I would give my clients what they want, not what I want, because I don't matter. I'm just a servant here that provides and helps people buy real estate to build wealth for them and their families. So this is when they want to be contacted. Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1, Sunday, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the evening. These are the best call times on the planet. You might want to take a picture of this slide if you're not writing this down. And so when you call, text, video text, and email, and remember, you must be ready to call them back immediately. Because when I show you the messages, they require a response of yes. And when people follow up and say yes, and they're expecting your call, and you do not follow up, you may as well just delete them from your database. That's like being single, and this the person that's picking you up says, I'll be there at 5 o'clock. And then they don't contact you at 5 o'clock or before, and they just say, oh, something happened, I had a flat tire. And then they call you at 5.30 and like, ah, oh, we need to reschedule. You go, sorry, buddy, I'm in high demand, and I'll just put you to the back burner. And that's not one strike against you. It's at least two, maybe three, right? Maybe, maybe right? It's like if somebody wants to meet with me and they don't show up on time or early, I just don't meet with them, right? If I have a scheduled Zoom with somebody at 3 o'clock and, and I normally have a five-minute grace period, I'm sitting on Zoom for 2 or 3 or 5, I go off Zoom, and then somebody says, oh, they reach, they reach out to one of my assistants and say, hey, I'm on Zoom, and it's 3.06. I'm like, just reschedule them. In fact, don't even make them a priority, right? Because everything I do, remember, has to have a positive outcome. If you're not going to respect our client's time up front, why should they do business with us in the first place, okay? So be ready to call immediately, immediately. This is the key. So... This is not you driving down the street at 7.39 or 4.36 p.m. You should be in, this is a 90-minute call slot. This is, this is like a hair appointment or a dentist appointment or a doctor appointment. This is how you should schedule this, right? You should schedule it like that. Just like these meetings every Monday, because I hope they're really helpful, because I know uh, we put a lot of work in to making sure they are uh, very beneficial for you guys. You should schedule your whole work week around these meetings, right? Just, just like, like we do. do. All right, so that's when you should follow up. 